Hey, what? What? what are you guys doing here? Oh, hello. Oh, what are you doing hi. here? Hello. Hi. What? Where'd you guys just kinda... come from? I, I mean, uh, we've been here. Did you come from that tree, I think? I, fe I mean, I fell from the sky. Like, up, what? You know, you too? up there. Uh, yeah, funny. That's me and Top did, too. Were you also abducted by an alien? Wait. <laughs> yes. I was... What? I, no, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a heck of a story. You're gonna have to fill me in later. I fell down a rabbit hole and ended up here. Oh. Oh. Does anybody know what's going on? Huh. Weird. I mean, I but, I came on a ship. Just sort of sailed in. <laughs> yeah, we both just sailed in. Well, who's this guy? Yeah. Hi. Uh, this oh, is hi. The I found on my ship. He seemed oh. ni nice enough, so I let him live. I'm nice. nice. So, do we just keep him around, or should we kill Is him? Like, like what? I, I I don't mind hanging around. He also seemed yeah, well, pretty useful. He made that. a weather detector <laughs> aboard the ship out of some scraps. Oh, all right. Well, oh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Season two, season two of Mine Wreckers. Uh, what? Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Uh, we do have Woo one new Woo. member on the server. Weird and bearded. Hello. Welcome. Also known as Wab. <laughs> also known as Wab. <laughs> and um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, other than starter bases, we're going to hang around this area. I think our limit will be uh, 100 blocks. And with that, let's start Let's start breaking some trees and, and getting getting going. So, season two! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Come here, friend. <laughs> oh, Acacia. This will be interesting. Oh, no, the ring. What's wrong with Acacia? It's. I haven't built my starter base with any other type of wood, so I'm Tom, are you gonna have to get used to it. I break? Wow, someone already. <clears throat> oh no, this is. Wait. Free? I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave the group. Free, have you already built your starter base? I sure have. Where's your starter base? I mistaken this for a village, a village? house. <laughs> it's like, very close. I mean, gotta gotta have a base somewhere. A roof over my head, you know. I mean, <laughs> why are people so worried about starter bases and whatnot when you know just take inspiration from the villagers? Exactly true. You have a frog? With designs and all that. Sure do have a frog, isn't it? His name is what? Frog Deer. He protects my wheat. If you take my wheat, he will unleash his vengeance. <laughs> hmm. Now I gotta figure out where to put my base. I feel like everyone is, like, nowhere at all. Like, besides Beast, like, you're the only one person I can find. People have already. Beast is deep underground, which is pretty great. Yeah, oh, I was with him. I was coming back up to chop some more wood. Pick a color. Any any color. Yeah. Any color at all. Any color. Any color at all. Magenta. Thank you. <laughs> bye. Okay, bye. I need to go find out where I died. I have no idea. <laughs> What what does the color have to do with that? Oh, nothing. If you're playing with waypoints somehow, I I, I want I, in. I don't, <laughs> I don't use I don't use waypoints. Okay, bye. <laughs> I can already tell, Weird and Bearded is going to be a fun player to play with. Well, I think I found the perfect spot for me to have my starter base. Uh, just over there is where Free is, a little bit over that way on the shore as well is Beast of the North. I don't know where anybody else is. It, everyone just kind of split off and yeah, I, I don't know. This is where I'm going to put up my starter base and I can't wait for you guys to see it.
You're not gonna use chunk paste? No. <laughs> Honestly, I really could also do this myself, but I mean, it's more fun <laughs> when you do it with someone else. True, true. This will probably be, be the only way I'll know how to get to the shopping area. <laughs> I mean, uh, eventually we'll explore the server enough to, to know other ways, but for now, a nice a nice boat passage that, that will take a little while, but... Well, so far so good. Ooh. Wait, there's a lot of coral reefs nearby from what I can tell. I'm excited. I hope that I can use... Uh, I have a project that I can use the coral for. So essentially what we did was follow a river, and we're basically, as of right now, we're just- Whoa, what was that? Oh, tropical fish! I haven't seen tropical tropical fish in-game. <laughs> really? Nope. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't used to go- I didn't used to go exploring, ever. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I think- Well, actually, we need to get our X coordinate up a little higher. But the island is really big. So as long as you're going in like the vague direction, you'll find it. Hello? Oh wow! Yeah. yeah. Now I gotta figure out which direction my where at, where my uh, pirate area will be because I know it's like just past the swamp or the island, but I don't know which direction it is. It looks like, like your, north? your thing is north of the yeah north of the shop. Oh, okay, so it's it's just ahead then, basically. Cool. Yeah. Well this is the furthest I've been on the ser on the server so far. <laughs> what can I do for you? Would you like a horn? Yes. <laughs> no hesitation. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I got so I got I got ponder or I got seek. What what would you what could you provide as in a trade? Um, well, I did just barely get some diamonds that I haven't done anything with them yet, but I can, uh, offer those. Well, ironically, I did just put up a sign saying, you know, the horns are two diamonds each, so if you're cool with that... Uh, okay, so wait, which ones are what? So, so we got the, the, the pillager sounding one, so this one. Or we have ponder, which is... I'll do the pillager one. All yours. Cool. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so good, this is gonna yay! be so annoying. <laughs> I know. In the best way. In the best. We've got yes. horns. We've got spy glasses. I need a freaking spy glass. Oh, oh I've I been wanting one of those amethyst. for a while. I may have some amethyst. Come with me. Good doing business. Okay. Baby. Well, see ya. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we have gotten so much done already on the first episode. As you could see, I did get some diamonds, and I have full diamond gear. Looks like, if you remember from seeing last time, looks like they uh, took down the little red hut that was here. Pretty nice. Um, wow. I haven't actually been on for a few days, and it looks like some people are already getting some stuff done this is this is awesome i don't know what this is but i guess we'll find out sometime and there's just a blank sign that's funny huh i'm guessing this is definitely top and queen uh i guess uh there's really not much to show off but i know they're going for kind of a sci-fi futuristic theme and that is exactly what that looks like over at my starter base looks like the frogs have officially retaliated against me stealing <laughs> freeze wheat because they have really brought tracked in mud into the into the base 
I can't even get up uh, into my bed because of this. Is a shovel good for this? I don't know. Okay, my respawn point has been set. And I'm going to clear out as uh, much of this mud as I possibly can. But at least now, I got some mud. And I didn't even have to go mining for it. I think for now, I'm going to leave the mud that's here. Uh, just because it's just ground and I, I, I might as well just leave it. I don't really care. Don't mind that it's here. Over the course of a few days, we have had so much going on. So many funny, silly, shenanigan stuff happen, and it's just been phenomenal. Over stream, if you missed it, it was a few days ago, uh, at least <laughs> from the time of this recording, but I decided to build the post office. Uh, the last season was really gigantic, and I wanted to try and see if I could build something smaller, but yet still very elegant, and something that, something that people will look at and go, yep, this is the post office, or even if they don't, they enjoy coming to it as well. I'm really glad that it's here in spawn, at least for now, because this is where everybody congregates. But this is what I've done. I haven't gotten the roof done. Uh, it took me three hours just to get all of this done because I, I'm just winging it. I'm not, I don't have a specific plan for it, but it looks like Top and Queen have already chosen where their mailboxes are going to be. I've split it up so that uh, we have five players because we have 10 people in the servers. We have five players on that side of the post office and five players on this side of the post office. And right here is going to be a reception desk, I guess. Not necessarily reception, but kind of uh, just, you know, there's a desk. <laughs> if, if customers need help with something or with uh, delivery or something, you know, for lore sake, that's what th uh, this desk will be. And right behind the desk, I haven't set it up yet, but I'm going to hollow out a place for some stairs to go down into the basement of the post office. And what this is going to be is essentially a kind of like a black, like black mail, kind of like black market, but for mail. Um, so like anything, any kind of uh, things that you want to keep hush hush secret secret mail and whatnot, you can you can do those deals right underneath here. So I'm super excited. I hope that the the other members of the server know how to do this just by watching this video. But um, essentially, that's kind of the idea. Uh, we'll definitely have to play with it and figure out rules. Maybe I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, but uh, just really quick, I'm going to finish building this. Uh, post office, and we will see where we're at from there when I get to that point. Well, here we are at the top of the post office. Uh, it is the loft, as you can see. There's actually two of them. One is over there as well. I haven't put anything up there yet. But there are plans to just kind of decorate. Nothing totally functional, just, you know, maybe where some mail was about to get processed, like waiting to get processed or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But it looks like we've already, like, see, I've already put my name on a barrel, but it looks like we've got some other members of the server who are putting their names and claiming barrels themselves. Uh, I really, really appreciate the support on the post office. I definitely wanted to make sure that I did something different and a little bit more simple and easier just to get something quick and up on the server as soon as possible than I did last server. And this is what I came up with. This was on a stream and uh, yeah, so I, I kind of decorated a little bit. I could do more. I just lack materials at the moment, but over time uh, I'll be able to collect as much materials as I need in order to decorate this place a little bit more. Uh, it'll change over time. Uh, I put these shelves in here as well, just kind of as uh, pretending like maybe some mail is stored up there, little envelopes and whatnot. What you can actually do is come over here. If you go through here, 
this is there's a plan to do something down here we're gonna call it black mail but it's not like black mail it's like the black market but for mail if that makes sense it's kind of hard to explain but that's kind of what we uh decided over stream i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode uh it is a lot of crazy stuff uh i definitely have some theming that i'm going to be doing in the future in the next few episodes i'm going to start actually doing some piratey stuff the most piratey that i have so far right now is just my eye patch at the moment but eventually soon i will be doing some more kind of theme work so this, this video is more about uh, utilities and really getting things started and going up and running. Uh, I'll definitely be decorating the post office a little bit more, but uh, I can't wait for you guys to see this episode and the episodes in the future. So again, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye!